This is Call Me Adam, I asked, Stephen Reinecke told. Here we are with Stephen Reinecke, musical director and conductor of the New York Pops, and we're here to talk about the 30th anniversary gala and dinner, which is happening on April 29th at Carnegie Hall. How has this special anniversary season been so far for you? Uh, this 30th anniversary season has been absolutely wonderful so far. It's actually exceeded my expectations. Um, we've been selling out every concert, which is the first time the New York Pops has ever done that. As a matter of fact, we've sold out every concert except for one, and I blame Hurricane Sandy on the one that we didn't sell out. So it's, it's been really, really uh, spectacular, and all of the music, all of the performers have just been top-notch. Well, that's terrific. I mean, the concerts that I've attended so far, I've loved every single one, so Thank it's you, been a wonderful season. Thank you. You're welcome. So the New York Pops 30th Anniversary Gala and Concert is featuring some of the biggest talent on Broadway and music. Some of the artists included are Laura Benanti, Kelly O'Hara, Donna Murphy. How did you decide which artists you wanted to include in the concert, and what do you feel their talents are going to bring to this special evening? Well, fortunately, we're very lucky with the New York Pops that we have a lot of friends um, who really support what we do with our education programs. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, uh, Kelly O'Hara, uh, Paula Zahn, let's see, Megan Hilty is performing in the concert, uh, Laura Osnes. The four of them, at least, I know, have made their debuts at Carnegie Hall with the New York Pops. Uh, as a matter of fact, Kelly O'Hara just recently joined the board of the New York Pops, which we're so excited about. And she was the first person to commit to doing the gala. Uh, but all of these artists are are so special to us and they've all decided to do this they do it for nothing mm -hmm. we don't pay any of them uh, they donate their services in support of our education programs so we're we're very fortunate that's really great and it's wonderful that you support education like that especially for all the students and I know at every concert you have at least at least one school, usually a few, that come and get to see the concert, and it's so wonderful to introduce kids to music that way. Yeah, several. Um, you know, as I said, this is a big support of our ed many education programs, and what you're talking about is our Kids in the Balcony program, mm -hmm. which at the gala we end up having about 800 kids in the balcony uh, for that, uh, which are kids from all five boroughs who get to come for free to Carnegie Hall and to see a concert. Um, and for many of them, it's the first time they've seen anything like this. And there are some of them, it's changed their lives. What does it mean to be the New York Pops conductor during the 30th anniversary season? I am so incredibly honored, privileged, and humbled to be the conductor of the New York Pops during the 30th anniversary season. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting to me because, uh, of course, I knew who Skitch Henderson was and um, <clears throat> was a big fan. And I remember the very first time I ever conducted the New York Pops Orchestra was their 25th anniversary concert. And I was not hired yet. Skitch had uh, passed away three years before, and they spent three years looking for a replacement for Skitch. I didn't even know I was in the running. I came in, I conducted the 25th anniversary concert, and I thought, why would they ask me to conduct this mammoth, star-studded, huge concert? Uh, and it went really, really well. And a week later, my manager called me and said, they'd like to offer you the job. And so it's, it's really special for me because now I've come from the 25th to the 30th gala. And the thing is, there was no other conductor of the New York Pops other than Skitch Henderson until me. So to get to be the second person to lead this orchestra and, you know, believe me, I'm no Skitch. But, you know, my teachers always told me you're never going to be that, per be your own self. Mm -hmm. You know, be the first Stephen Reinecke. Mm -hmm. So it really, I take it with a, with a great sense of responsibility mm -hmm. that uh, I am to take Skitch's legacy and what he created with the New York Pops mm -hmm. and take it forward. Yeah, so it's, it's a huge honor. That's terrific. Well, I think you've done a great job doing that from what I've seen. Thank you very much, Adam. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. For more Call Me Adam, visit callmeadam.com or follow me on Twitter at callmeadamnyc or facebook.com slash callmeadamnyc.